Keep your heads up, family, and your arms covered. Here's the verse of the day, and it's 1 Thessalonians 5, 17. Victory! Pray without ceasing. All glory to our Father in the name above every name, Yeshua HaMashiach, the rock. I've been doing a lot of praying without ceasing lately, family. And you're in my prayers too. And I've been eating a lot of the word lately too, more than normal. And as the enemy tries to destroy my faith, all that's happening is it's increasing more and more by the day because I'm eating the bread of life daily. I'm feasting on the bread of life daily. As much as I can get and I'm being filled with this Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh, while I'm telling you this. It's the truth. So if your faith is being tested, which it is, the best thing you can do is eat up. And if you love Jesus Christ, feed his sheep. So before we go over the signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, we're going to eat the word together, family. Because family sticks together. But of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. And that gets taken out of context all the time. The truth is we know that it's winter and we know that we're approaching spring. Verse 2, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and of love, and for an helmet the hope of salvation. The whole armor, put it on, family, every day. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also ye do. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake, and be at peace among yourselves. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men, see that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing the verse of the day. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. So be thankful, family, because it is finished. And every day that we have left is one more day to be fruitful. One more day to lead people to Jesus Christ to be saved from hell. I am juiced for Jesus Christ. Because we're already victorious. We already won. He said, it is finished. So whatever's happening with you or going on around you, just remember Romans 8.18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared to the glory which will be revealed in us. And we're all suffering, some of us more than others. But we're all feeling it because we're all the body of Jesus Christ, Yeshua. And he said, the signs will be in the sun and the moon and the stars. And we'll start with the sun. It's right here. A large comet is streaking toward the sun. Comet 96P, Mac Holes, is streaking toward the sun for a close encounter inside the orbit of Mercury. And you can see it right here on the left under the play button. And when you click play, it's right there, bottom left hand corner, flying toward the sun right now as the sun is erupting. And I'll go over it in Stellarium. And it's going to be happening soon. It says right here, this is no ordinary comet flyby. And it says most comets that fall toward the sun are small, 10 meters, and rapidly evaporate. We've seen thousands of these doomed sun grazers. 
and I've seen many myself, family. But it says that Comet 96P is different. Measuring 6 kilometers across, it is big enough to survive a close proximity to the sun. And there it is, in Stellarium, right now. And as you go through the hours, you could see it moving past the sun and making a close approach. And I'll go back a month. And on December 30th, Christina's birthday, it was right there under what they call Sagittarius. And if you go through the days, you could see it speed up, lightning fast, and then stop. As it heads towards the sun, right now. And then it stops right there and slows way down and starts looping back around. And if it doesn't hit the sun and we're still here, we'll keep our eyes on this comet. And whether we're still here or not, either way, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, is at the door. Now we'll go to the moon. And as you can see, the moon is right next to Cleopatra, which was a queen. And the moon is lined up with the planets, and you can see Jupiter and Venus right to the right. And if you missed it, last Wednesday, you could see Jupiter shining so bright right next to the moon. It was beautiful. It was very special. These are the signs that Jesus Christ was talking about. And since Cleopatra is right there next to the moon, and she was a queen, we'll go straight to Esther, Queen Esther. And I'm going to go over more of this if we're still here as we approach Purim. Esther is right there next to Cleopatra. And Esther is 622 Esther. And when you go to Strong's Bible Concordance for 622, the definition is to gather, remove the exact thing that Jesus Christ is going to do when he comes and gets us. And in Greek, the definition is to destroy, destroy utterly. And that's exactly what's going to happen when he comes to get us. They'll be saying peace and safety and sudden destruction will happen. And I just want to touch on it because it's a ways away. But we'll go more over this and it's gigantinormous family. Purim is going to have the most signs that I've ever seen this year. And all glory to our Father in the name above every name, Yeshua HaMashiach. I've been tracking this other comment, E3 ZTF. It was just discovered last year, 2022. And I showed you, it just went past the dragon's tail. Right in between the Little and Big Dipper. And this is where it's at right now. And we're going to keep tracking it also because it's gigantinormous. It's a gigantinormous sign in the heavens. And it looks like this. Here's an image of it as it shot through the Big and Little Dipper. And here was a picture of it on January 21st an observer took. And as you can see, it's right above the van. Right there. And it makes its closest approach to Earth in a couple days on February 1st. I'll be looking for it. And here's another recent picture of it. Fire and Ice. Comet ZTF over Mount Etna. And again, it will be making its closest approach to our planet on February 1st. And it's been photographed with three tails, two behind it and one in front of it. And remember, January 12th, it made its closest approach to the sun. And this is the most recent picture that I found of it. And it's blazing green. And when you go to Revelation 4.2, John was caught up in the spirit and immediately I was in the spirit and behold a throne was set in heaven and one sat on the throne and he that sat was to look upon like a jasper a sardine stone and there was a rainbow around about the throne in sight like unto an emerald and that's why this comment reminds me of Yeshua HaMashiach also known as Jesus Christ. And that's who we're waiting for. And that's who we're watching for. Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ.